We get it, we have listened. Not my words, but the words of economic surrealist Quasi Quateng. <laughs> I get it, I have listened. Not my words, but the words of human 404 error Liz Truss. <laughs> I get it, I have listened. Not my words, but, well, actually, they are. That is my stock response to anyone leaving me a fucking voice note on WhatsApp. Sort your life out. <laughs> the government kicked off the Tory party conference the only way they know how, with a screeching U-turn. <laughs> Martin got rid of the plan to get rid of the 45p tax rate in the hope that he isn't got rid of. <laughs> a repetitive quieting was rolled out in front of BBC Breakfast, the Today programme and LBC to announce that the 45p tax cut had been scrapped because it was a mistake. No, sorry, not not a mistake, a distraction. So they've scrapped the scrapping of the top tax rate, but not because it was a bad idea, but because we just all couldn't wrap our little heads around it. <laughs> the message that was rolled out loud and clear was, we get it, we are listening. Begging the questions, what do you get? And who are you listening to? Is it George Ezra? <laughs> I keep hearing about George Ezra. <laughs> but in fact, this U-turn is the distraction. They may have changed their mind on this one thing, but as confirmed in Truss's conference speech, they're keeping everything else in their batshit scheme. And in the batshit scheme of things, that top rate of tax is not as big a concession as it sounds. It's a bit like if your neighbours had gone on changing rooms, covered your spare bedroom with swastikas, but during the reveal say, look, we can lose the side table. <laughs> 45p tax rate accounts for £2 billion of tax revenue. The rest of their policy amounts to a loss of £45 billion of revenue. This U-turn only represents 4.4% of the planned cuts. So this is technically a U-turn, but only a single U-turn on one of the world's most dangerous roads. <laughs> so when they say, we get it, we have listened, who have they listened to? Someone who they've had to listen to is Michael Gove. This week, Michael Gove actually sounded like he was speaking sense, saying, if a mistake has been made, the right thing is to acknowledge it and correct it. Coincidentally, the same thing he said to the Welsh police about his £90 million haul of cocaine. <laughs> Gove was joined by unlikely sidekick Grant Shapps, who characterised the policy as tin-eared. Shapps was described as a rebel, which I imagine he loved. It'll finally give him the confidence to buy that leather jacket he saw in TK Maxx. <laughs> we are listening and have listened. They wanted to listen to people like Conservative Party Chairman Jake Berry, who said that people struggling with bills should simply get a new job. <laughs> which gave a tantalising clue to the Tories' new plan for the NHS. Jake Berry wandering the A&E ward saying things like, well, just get a new leg. <laughs> Don't have got burned. Have you ever considered not having asthma? <laughs> Phew, Dr Berry solves it again. <laughs> so, they are listening, but not to everyone. They're not listening to friend of the show Nadine Dorries, who on Monday called for a general election. <laughs> <laughs> Dorries, as ever, showing her political nous, called for her own party to hold a general election when they're 33 points behind. <laughs> so, yes, maybe Nadine was a bad example. But they weren't listening to the economists who warned them that the pound would tank. On the Today programme, Kwarteng said he couldn't remember being warned by economists of the repercussions uh, before economist Gerard Lyons said, well, that's incorrect. I was very clear. <laughs> oh, shit, son! You got burned, are you LSE? Because you just got schooled of economics. <laughs> so here's what it is. They scrapped one unpopular policy, but they are ploughing ahead with every other bit of the plan. Tax cuts for the wealthy with no sign of keeping benefits in line with inflation. If they're listening, who should they be listening to? I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but I think it's Nadine Dorries. <laughs> Uh, please do not make a thing of this, but I actually agree with Nadine. We need a general election. D oh, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't make a thing of it. I resent, I resent that. <laughs> get a new job. Trim the fat. Grow the pie. They don't get it. And they're not listening. They're not listening to the millions of people who can't heat their homes or afford their mortgage or put food on the table because of the reckless plans of an irresponsible government. Do they understand that people are frightened? Do they realise how angry people are? And do they get that the tide is turning against them? Because we get it. And we're listening. <laughs>